uh, our new cylinder uh, Tempest heat pump powered by Mixergen. Uh, the unit comes with a control unit that is linked straight into the uh, into the internet and actually picks up by the uh, by the utilities companies the power uh, and looks at what energy is actually coming from that and the cost of the energy. Uh, so at the moment, you know, you, you can get uh, tariffs, uh, overnight tariffs that are cheaper, and this unit will actually pick that up and give you a full, full uh, amount of hot water. So if you look at that there, the cylinder is actually showing, should be that way up, so let's change that, sorry, uh, showing that we've got a small amount of hot water in there. Overnight then, with the lower tariffs, it would then boost that up, so it would give us a lot more heat in the cylinder. So you might wake up and think, oh, where's that cylinder, where's that filled fill that up? It's actually recognised that the power uh, is cheaper overnight because of the, the, the power companies are actually selling it cheaper, and that's where it goes. It's a heat pump cylinder that's got a heat pump coil on it, uh, 32 mil coil, so we get a good transfer of heat within okay. that. Um, backup immersion if it needs it, uh, and gives it all the, the usual tempest qualities that we get. One mil, one mil steel on this. Uh, good insulation, good standing heat value. Is that for an NTC? So these are your stats. So yeah, you can pick up there. So they're dry stats, so we can pick up the temperatures within that. Uh, Is that the drawer off? There's your, there's your hot water drawer up at the top. Drawer off. There's that's your, your secondary return, is that's it? That's your secondary return, and there's your cold inlet at the bottom. Okay, so so for, for being technical now, that's for heat pump. How come they're at the same level then? What's different about heat pump coil? The heat pump coil actually go, is going in there, and then it coils all the way down, yep. and then comes back up through itself and comes out at that point there. So we've got a, a three square metre, 32 mil coil in there. So okay. we're getting a good corrugated, so we're getting a good heat transfer, we're getting a good flow rate, which is key for heat pumps, yes. and we're getting uh, no, no vibration as well from that. So can this work with solar thermal as well? Yes. 